Hello Guardians, welcome to the first video of 2022. I know I've been gone for what probably feels like a century, but you know, I thought I'd at least make this video, try and chime back in with something before I start properly thinking of other Destiny ideas. I've been very busy with doing other stuff, but I'll probably mention that at the end of the video. For this video, I actually wanted to go over some gripes I've had with Destiny 2 in terms of, well, basically missing features and I guess the way some things are ran, but yeah. Without further ado, let's go into it. So the first thing I've written, which isn't really a thing that can be done, but when you think about it, can be a problem, is that there's still no way for you to use characters simultaneously. I know they never promised anything like that, but when you kind of think about it, like, uh, especially from somebody who literally grinds three different characters who are three different um, subclasses and, well, classes in general, it's just so tedious. Like, I, I honestly just haven't bothered playing a Destiny in a while myself because I've just done a lot. But I know for a fact, like, when I get back to playing Destiny 2, I'm just going to be like, you know what? I'm going to just level up the one character and go from there. Because I think I've kind of lost my Destiny touch recently. But, as I mentioned, if you could use the character simultaneously, it'd be so cool to just... I don't know. It'd be cool to just, like, have three people there and... It may be a problem as well, because I don't think, like, Destiny or Bungie in general could handle doing something like that. Because they'd have to implement a whole new, like, gameplay feature just to be able to do it, like, or gameplay, gameplay features, like. And, like, the way I think of this working as well, which is why it's probably way too ambitious, is the fact that, like, I'm thinking of the Halo 5 system. Where it's, like, you know, during the campaign where you can, like, boss people around to do different bits. Something like that, you know? But even just having, like, your characters follow you as, like, just AI would be cool as well. The only problem I'd see, it, see though, is um, they'd probably just not let you take them three characters everywhere. Because if you could have three characters everywhere, then that would be a major problem. And obviously, you know, making it for two people would also count as well if you have two characters. An actual gripe I have, which I think everybody has, is the inventory caps. And I'm talking specifically about the enhancement cores and all that, and the ascendant charts. Now, I don't collect much of these myself, but I know for a fact there's a lot of people in the Destiny community who grind the game to no ends, and they're always like, oh, I have 10 now, I better either store them away in the vault or just spend them on something random so I don't waste them. And it's such a shame, you know? Because, as far as I'm aware, for the Ascendant Shards and the Ascendant Prisms, that's where the real problem lies. Like, when it comes to Ascendant Cores, I think they go up to 999. But it's just like, how have we reached this far and the Ascendant uh, Shards can only go up to 10? And just to be clear, I am talking about the golf balls. Like, it's just so weird. And even just like, when the Dreaming... Well, the Dreaming City is still going to be here, so I actually, this is a bit relevant. The um, Taken thing, like little vial yoke that you hold in your inventory, you can still only hold five of them. Every time I go to the EDZ, I, or EDZ, Dreaming City and do strike stuff, I swear to God, like, it, it's like, oh, here's one. Like, you never run out. And like, you know, what if you wanted, like, multiple of them for whatever reason, you know? I know it's a bad example, but I'm giving it anyway. If anything, the only thing I don't really want a lot of is... Gunsmith materials. I wish there was an option to be like only store like gunsmith materials, like a stack of gunsmith materials and leave it as that. Because I don't think anybody's ever like said to themselves, you know what? I want all these stacks of gunsmith materials. Why not, you know? Like, there really should be an option to just basically say, yeah, inventory, I'll cap this myself. Of course, there's a problem now with capping and then not being able to cap certain things. Which I'll move on to another point in a second, but being able to cap how much goes into your inventory would probably go a long way. And sure, you could just delete all of it, but like the effort of that, and even just storing in the vault, like if you store it in the vault, your vault space is just gonna fill up eventually full of this stuff, so it's better to do it like later than never, and it's better to just have a feature for it, you know? I did also mention about um, not wanting certain items to go into your inventory and whatnot. So let's talk about the blue situation. And if you know where that uh, terminology's come from, I've actually, basically I've just taken the idea there from Paul Tassi and I'm bringing it back up here because it just, it makes a lot of sense. As somebody who's max level in the game, 
why isn't there an option to turn off blues? Maybe, like, every season there should be an option to, like, turn off blues. And obviously, maybe it should turn itself off. Or maybe it just depends on, like, what light level you are. Like, let's say... And, like, I can't remember the light levels off the top of my head. This is how... I, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, light levels. I can't remember them off the top of my head anymore. Because this is how long I haven't been playing Destiny. But let's say... Like, I know it's not. But let's say it's a thousand. And the next, like, DLC says, okay... 1300 for that it would make sense to turn off the ability to you know <laughs> like um not like get blues but then once you reach 1300 or even like maybe 10 away from it since like pinnacle would be like around uh 1290 then give us the option to be like okay you can turn this off now or like if you already turned off last season it'll automatically turn itself back on this season you know and obviously after a while you'll start to notice like if you want blues for whatever random reason you're like oh okay i might go into my inventory and turn that off for a second just so i can get these few things but then i just realized if there's like an auto dismantle blue option that would <laughs> feed into the last problem of like the inventory management stuff i guess in a sense but yeah and speaking of more <laughs> uh, inventory management more gun slash armor space inventory space and vault space if we can't get something that limits the amount of stuff that goes into our, like, main inventory, or even get our caps increased on certain items, then give us more space. Like, I know, like, they did it ages ago, and, like, even in Destiny 1, I think there's, like, there's a total of, like, 27 slots, I think, and, like, one of them, all, like, basically 9 slots was for Eververse, so you might as well just say 18 at that point. And even then... One of the main slots of the inventory was basically just for ammo synthesis. So, why do I even suggest it? I don't know, you know? It's just to give people that extra option again. To be like, yeah, I got more space so I can hold more stuff, you know? And if you let that build up, that's your problem, you know? Same with vault space. Somehow, even though I've barely played this season, I've noticed my inventory fill up two to three times now. Which is so weird. I've actually had to go back just to delete stuff, just to make sure my inventory is free you know and when it comes to more gun and armor space like it's just it's really annoying again if blues auto dismantle blues never becomes an option then this is definitely needed because like only being able to hold like nine weapons at like in one slot at a time is very limiting you know like if possible i would like the option to be able to hold like at least one of every weapon type and maybe a few exotics on the side now, I'm not saying they should increase it to something silly, like, you know, it's currently 9 extra slots in the actual gun slot itself, so that's 10. I'm not saying they should increase it by, like, another 9 or something, but even just, like, another 6 or 3 would be nice. Just to give us that extra little bit of option. And again, when it comes to armor, like, some people like to run multiple loadouts for, like, different activities. And especially, like, you know, there's Grandmasters, there's, like, just, even just normal strikes, just fun builds. Crucible, Gambit maybe even dares at this point like you know there's so many different like options in the game and different activities that people would like to just have all this armor on hand and even like maybe use something like dim to click the uh get get loadout option you know or like create loadout and put it on you know it's just it's something interesting to think about you know Especially, again, if blues are just going to build up. At least there's, like, more slots. So you, if you do get something good, like, it'll go into your thing or have a higher chance of going into your um, weapon slash armor slot when you pick it up. Now, here's a little bit of a, um honorable mention section because these sections I actually thought a bit about before I wrote... Well, I wrote them down and then I thought, hmm, maybe that wouldn't make sense if I had it, so... But let, let me go over them real quick. So... Mass buying and selling of items. So originally, this was going to be one of the original points. But then I thought to myself, well, what if in Witch Queen they do fix this job? Because they are giving Master Raoul the option to um, basically act like Spider. So not only will you go to him to decrypt engrams and whatnot, you'll also go to him to um, basically uh, like buy planetary materials and all that stuff. So you never know. Maybe if they give to Raoul, they'll be like doing him up and all. So you can have the option to actually buy multiples of the same item. And if they don't, then, you know, we, I guess we just got to push it back. Then this shouldn't have been an honorable mention. This should have been one of the gripes I actually have with Destiny 2. 
The Destiny Content Vault. Now, again, this is another weird one. Because it's just like, part of me cares that, like, stuff is gone, but another part of me doesn't. So let me just explain, right? The stuff in recent time, within the last year, I think have every right to go. We've had, like, a whole... Not even a year. We've had a year and a half of them. But, well, actually, I think it's less than that. But let's just say a year and a half. To be fair, though, for anybody just literally joining Destiny, like, now, for example, they would have a mountain of content to get through. And by the way, if you are, like, somehow new and you're listening this far, I'd suggest doing every seasonal thing first, then moving on to actual story stuff and whatnot. It probably won't make sense, but eventually, like, if your brain's, like, big enough, it'll make sense. Or just watch some videos on it just to see what things are up. Won't really suggest uh, Seasons of Hunt, but even then, I'm, I, myself, I might actually do, make a video where I go back over the seasonal stuff that's leaving, or just stuff that's leaving in general. Because it'd be a shame to just not do something like that, I guess. But yeah, again, I'm going to hold off my thoughts, though, on the Destiny Content Vault for a bit longer. Because we did see Mars as the intro mission for uh, the Witch Queen. But here's the problem, right? What if it's just like the Phobos for the Taken King mission? Like, what if it's just like that? What if we actually don't get Mars back? Now, <laughs> the best fan theory I have is like, oh, we're going to get both Mars zones back and go, oh, we're going to be mixed and merged. And we're going to get a bit of the past, a bit of the present, a bit of the future. You know, that'd be cool, but I don't think we're getting that. But again, if we do get like um, stuff back from the content vault and they just haven't announced it, then that'd be cool, you know? But I think after Witch Queen, if we don't, then uh, this is the time where, like, this other gripe I have will also be just a proper gripe and not an honorable mention. But I will also mention, though, for the Destiny Content Vault, we are getting, like, I think it's, like, a map per season and, like, a brand new map or something like that. I think it's, like, three old maps and one, like, new map. And maybe Witch Queen might have, like, a map or something or something like that. I don't know. It probably won't anymore because, like, when it comes to Crucible, it's basically a free-to-play experience. It's not really a part of the paid stuff anymore. So... Yeah. And the last and final point I have, which I might even just make a video on in general because it would be interesting. And again, I saw Paul Tassi and I might like just chime in with my own thoughts on this. Gambit. Why is it here and why is it left behind? Two very important questions. And it's like the red or blue pill. Do you want Gambit to stay and take up space in the game? Or do you want it to, like, stay in the game, but we have to work on it? They never mentioned anything about Gambit. And I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't just announce, you know what, screw it, we're putting in the Destiny Content Vault, you know? Because it'd be less work for them to... Well, I say less work, but I mean, like, oh, God, we gotta make, like, gilded uh, stuff for the, like, Gambit again. We gotta give it a few weapons, eh, you know? I don't know, honestly, what they could do with Gambit, but, like, it's just interesting to see it. And the reason I have a gripe with it is just, like, it's in this poor state of limbo. Like, for other modes, it makes sense, because, like, they're one and done, like, Dares of Eternity. And, like, it'd be cool if Dares of Eternity could get, like, um, updated, like, weapon pools in the future, or armor pool. But, like, with Gambit, it should be getting that, like, every so often, but it's just not, I think. Wait. Okay, never mind, it is. It's just the armor, though, is shared between, like, different activities. We haven't got maps in, like, God knows how long. If Bungie, just please re-add the maps, even if they don't work. People will complain, but I think at the start, at least people will be happy that there's actual maps again <laughs> in Gambit, like. But, yeah. Anyway, that's all for this video, Guardians. I'm going to stop now because my throat is literally killing me now. So yeah, if you enjoyed this first video of the year, make sure to give it a like. Comment in some of the things you have griped with in Destiny 2 or some things you just find problematic in Destiny 2 and maybe how Bungie could fix it. But just remember, we're not developers. We're literally just people playing the game. Subscribe if you want and hit the bell if you do so desire. I just realized that last point is actually kind of... It's kind of hypocritical, isn't it? Because I'm literally like... I'm like, oh, why can't they just add more space? But like, it's probably like a big like... 10 day thing they'd have to do just to add more space when they could be working on something else that takes longer but yeah thank you again guardians for listening to this video and goodbye